I, I don't really know what Jabari Smith's doing here. I, I mean, are, are the, is Alperin Sangoon supposed to switch this? Like, why is Jabari Smith not getting up and over the top of this? What? Okay, if you're Jabari Smith and you're guarding Franz Wagner here, this is the only thing you can be worried about is Franz Wagner. Jabari Smith is, look at how he's looking for a screen right here instead of getting his feet set in a defensive stance ready to get over the screen. So, I mean, you're just, you're just walking right into this screen when there's all this space to get over the screen. So, okay, so Paolo Banchero has the ball in the post. I, I don't understand why there is a triple team of Paolo Banchero, and why is Jabari Smith not underneath Paolo Banchero? If Dylan Brooks wants to double, Fred Van Vliet needs to come out here, and then Alperin Sangoon's going to have to rotate, and then you rotate, and this is where Dylan Brooks would go. But, I mean, you're triple teaming the ball. There's no rotation. First of all, Dylan Brooks is leaning towards the screen early, so now Paolo Bonchero can just refuse it and get right into the lane. All right, stop. But here comes Fred Van Vliet to double. Once Paolo Bonchero's dribble's picked up right now, stop. Fred Van Vliet's coming back. I gotta be selling. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. So Jabari Smith knows to rotate up immediately. I mean, Fred Van Vliet's back, and Jabari Smith is still standing there. You just can't miss these. It's just You just can't miss them. Jabari Smith, his man, is setting a down screen. I got to get attached and show so Franz Wagner can't curl. Dylan Brooks has no time to get over this down screen. So now this handoff, forget about it. V v Wagner's right in the lane. Draw two, drop it to Carter. Again, in transition, you must communicate. Fred Van Vliet is bad. He needs to be sprinting towards the ball here, and he is, but I must communicate. Right now, Fred Van Vliet's got to say that he's going to take the ball. So Jabari Smith can come here, Landale goes here. But Fred Van Vliet's getting back and not communicating. So you had Jabari Smith staying with the ball. Fred Van Vliet, I don't know where he's going. So now Franz Wagner's off in transition. By the way, could Jabari Smith please box out here maybe? I mean... So Jabari Smith gets beat off the dribble, but does a nice job recovering here to Paolo Bonchero. I mean, what is Fred Van Vliet doing? Why are you staring at this? I mean, you're not helping, so get out to Cole Anthony. At least see Cole Anthony. I mean, you're just witnessing the whole thing, and now Cole Anthony. Again, this is off in transition. Half-court matchups are meaningless in transition. You just get to body. So Alperin Sangoon's back. I get to the nearest body. It's Gary Harris. There's no, there's no other choice. Alperin Sangoon is jogging into the middle of nowhere. Get to a body. So now Gary Harris can just get it and go... Okay, you're Fred Van Vliet. You're already making a mistake. You you, your only focus is the ball right now, okay? You're looking for a screen instead of having your feet set in a defensive stance ready to slide and fight over the top of the screen. So now because you're staring at a screen, that means you're coming uphill now to guard Cole Anthony as he's about to come off of a ball screen. Stop. So again, you're already beat before the screen gets set. So Mo Wagner doesn't even have to set the screen. He can slip it. Alper and Sangoon cannot remain in drop coverage, or Wagner's going to have a lob, and now Cole Anthony snake dribbles, and that's a little too easy. Okay, again, Reggie Bullock now, instead of just paying attention to the ball, is feeling out a screen. So instead of your feet being set at a defensive stance ready to fight over the top of the screen, Mo Wagner barely even has to screen you. He can slip the screen. So now Alper and Sangoon can't remain in drop coverage. He's got to take Wagner, who also sucks in a million different backside defenders, and Jonathan Isaac's turn. The Rockets are really struggling in drop coverage here. It's off a of pick and roll. Jabari Smith now is going to have to get in the gaps. This drop coverage is not working. Okay, if his feet are set, he can stunt at the ball and recover. The, you're not giving anything up. But you're running drop coverage here, and then you're just deciding to switch. So since Jabari Smith wasn't in the gaps there, the dribble's not picked up, and now Jock Landale's left on an island guarding Cole Anthony. I don't know what Amen Thompson is doing right here, okay? Jalen Green gets in the gaps and gets Paolo Banchero's dribble picked up, okay? Stop. Nice job by Jalen Green right here, okay? So if you're Amen Thompson, there's, we don't need a third defender. Like, just stay with Cole Anthony. I, I don't know what that was. Okay, I don't know what the Rockets are doing here. Are they switching? I mean, it's it's big to big. Jabari Smith can switch on to Wendell Carter and Jock Landale can come up. But I don't know, well, what is this? Like, are you switching or not? Because... 
It's very simple. You got to box out. I don't know what else there is to say. I don't. I, there's not one single Rockets player that's going to box out on this play. So Markel Fultz, how is Markel Fultz getting an offensive rebound over Sangoon? It's very simple. You just you can't miss these. You just can't. It's a down screen. Jabari Smith's got to get attached and show. Franz Wagner cannot curl. Dylan Brooks has no time to get over the screen. It's curl, lob. Okay, first of all, Dylan Brooks is coming over to double. So, like, you're just standing in no man's land right now. Either Dylan Brooks needs to come up over the top and double, or Fred Van Vliet's got to allow Paolo Banchero to go into that double team and force him that way. But Dylan Brooks is just standing in the middle of nowhere, so now Jalen Green comes over. This is a triple team. They no chance of getting out now. Cannot start and drop coverage and then just decide to switch. First of all, I don't know why this isn't a switch immediately anyways. It's Jabari Smith. It's Sangoon. It's big to big. But you start and drop coverage here, and then you're saying, eh, never mind, let's switch. Well, Alper and Sangoon was in drop coverage. <sighs> and it's the same thing. I mean, if you're going to switch, switch. Dylan Brooks can handle Wendell Carter Jr. That's why you signed him. He can guard bigs. So Sangoon's got to get up and take Franz Wagner. But again, the Rockets are starting here in drop coverage. And then they say, whoopsies, let's switch. Well, Sangoon was... This is not much of a screen, but it's enough of one for Jalen Green to get knocked off course here. So what is Sangoon doing? Like, I guess you're in drop coverage, right? So then you should be over here stopping the ball. Or are you switching, hedging? Like, the Rockets do nothing about this screen. And <laughs> you got to box out. It takes one person here, in this case, Amen Thompson, not boxing out Jalen Suggs. That's it. Everybody else is boxing out. Jay Sean, Tate, Alper, and Sangoon. Jalen Suggs is just left alone, so it's a tap back to Wendell Carter, back up for two. Okay, if you're Jalen Green, all right, stop. Right now, just feet set, defensive stance, ready to guard. Why would Jalen Green, look at this, why is he stepping up here to crowd Cole Anthony? You just, look at, you just gave him an angle to get right into the lane. Bucket plus one. Just cannot do it if you're Fred Van Fleet. You're not paying attention to the ball. You are looking for a screen. You are waiting for a screen to get set right here. So now there's no screen that needs to get set because you're just waiting for a screen. Cole Anthony's just going to blow right by you. You got to get back to a body in transition. A Jeff Green, where are you going? Like Wendell Carter, there's already somebody guarding Wendell Carter. So I'm either coming down here to take Bonchero or I'm coming up here to take Cole Anthony. You're just getting back to the middle of nowhere. So now Jermaine Samuels is stuck guarding two people. And, well, ugh.